I'm now going to fix this small radiator onto a stud partition wall. Ideally when you do this you could do with finding the actual studs in the wall that way you get a much better fixing but you can actually fix the brackets to the wall using suitable plasterboard fixings. If you're fixing the radiator to a solid wall it's very easy you can simply use the fixings that are supplied with the radiator. If you read the instructions it will tell you the minimum height to the bottom of the bracket which is 232 mil so we're going to put this at about 250 mil so the first bracket needs to go in that position and it needs to go with the widest part onto the wall so now we've got that in the correct position we're going to mark the top fixing hole there's a slot at the top and we're going to mark in the center of that slot to fix the brackets to the wall we are going to use these snap toggles Snap toggles are one of the strongest fixings that you can actually use in plasterboard. These will ensure that the brackets do not come away from the wall. If you're fixing a really large radiator, you will have to put more brackets on. You will need quite a few of these, unless of course you can find a stud. So we're gonna start off by drilling the first hole, which is 12 millimeters. I'm then gonna push the snap toggle through the hole and then I'm going to pull that back and then I'm going to slide down the plastic hole which will keep that captive once I've done that I can simply snap off the legs the slots in this radiator are quite large so the screw isn't a really good fit in there there's a chance that the screw head will pull through the slots so to overcome that I'm just going to use a small washer which is an M6 washer and that will ensure that the head on the screw cannot be pulled through the bracket. So I'm now going to screw the first screw into position and we're going to lift that up to half way. We don't need to go mad tight in that for now, it only needs to be nipped up. We can now measure the radiator to see exactly how far apart the brackets need to be spaced. So we're now going to mark 210 millimeters from the first bracket. We're then going to measure from the floor again, the same measurement as we did before. We can then take the second bracket and put that in position. I'm now going to mark the center of the slot again and then I'm going to drill the second fixing hole. Just speed things up a bit by using the drill. We can now take a spirit level and we can check that they are both completely level, which they are. So we can now tighten up the screws. That will just stop the brackets from moving. And then we can check that both brackets are plugged. Once both brackets are plumb, we can then check them for being level again. We can now mark the bottom fixing holes. This time we're going to use the actual holes instead of using the slots. That will ensure that the radiator never slips down. So we can now carefully turn that to the side and then we can drill the fixing hole. Just do the same with the other bracket, slide that to the side and then we can drill the fixing hole. We can then insert the snap toggles again. Once we've done that we can then tighten all the screws up fully. We can then take these parts which are the bracket buffers and we can place these in position. You do have to ensure that you put these in the correct way up, they obviously go that way and then the radiator will actually sit in the slot. 
We can then get the radiator and then it's simply a case of lifting that on and slotting it in position. Ensuring that you get all four of the brackets in the correct position. Like so. So that radiator is now firmly fixed to the wall. Obviously it is better if you can find a stud and you can get the radiator brackets fixed to a stud but when that is not possible the snap toggles do an extremely good job of fixing things like this to the wall very securely.